Gelo Farmers, welcome to our show, The Zimbabwe Extension Diaries, where we are being joined by an Agriculture Extension Officer, Mr. Jaidi. Mr. Jaidi, welcome to the show. Yes, Vanessa, thank you for having me on the Zimbabwe Extension Diaries. There's a lot of farmers here. So, Mr. Jaidi, as we are moving around, we saw litter and crop residues lying around, almost idle. Is there anything that farmers can do with them? Here we are, Vanessa. If you look at this maize stove, it suggests that there have been players, they have been in the field, we took our grain from here, and these ones are almost like retired players if we are going to use soccer as an analog or as an example. If the players have retired from soccer, we don't want them to go for, for free. We want a, a transfer fee from them. So if we burn these things into ashes, they would have gone for free. But how do we make sure we get a transfer fee of these players after the one way of getting a transfer fee from these is we can get them, we can take these into the mulching of our field. Currently we talk about Fubuza where we want to be mulching. If we go the mulching way, these things are going to store moisture for us in the Fubuza plots. They are going to regulate temperature for us in the Fubuza plots. They are going to smoother the wheat for us in the Fubuza plots. They are also going to give a better environment for the microbial activity. From these activities, you can then wonder to say, where is the transfer? Yes, here is the transfer. If the mouth is going to conserve moisture, it suggests that they are going to use less supplementary nutrition. So the cost of supplementary nutrition you could be abused if you did not found is now the transfer fee. So in short, don't learn it, either bell it or use it for mouth. As we have heard farmers, there are a lot of enterprises where these residues can be taken to. 